Hi everyone, welcome back. As I promised you in the video about the characteristics of a good iron for sewing projects, I'm here today to talk about the iron protection. Make sure to stay here till the end because thanks to all your feedbacks I've discovered a very curious thing and I'm going to tell you at the end of this video. Today we are going to discover how to iron the EVA foam and the vinyl. I'm Veronica from Salmandra Verde Arts and Crafts and this tutorial is about the protection of the iron and this is one of my favorite tools and if you ask me uh, one of the tools I'm not going to sew without, this is in my top 10. Let's go! This is truly one of my favorite sewing tools because at the same time it protects the iron from what you are ironing and what you are ironing from the iron. Take a solid one invest in it. I don't recommend you this kind, but I haven't used it because it doesn't inspire me. One very important thing. When you use the plate, you have to insert it on a cold iron. It will heat up together with the iron and thus avoid creating condensation between the two surfaces and leaving dangerous and gloomy drops of water while ironing. Before you start ironing, make sure that the iron is hot. In our project, we often use strange materials, but some damage to the iron plate can also be done in everyday life, for example with the studs and rivets of jeans. Rare, but it happens. Another dangerous moment is when ironing prints or paints, which can dirt the plate, or when ironing a super synthetic material that burns, smells and attaches irreparably to the plate and is to be cleaned by a professional. Well, with this protection you will not damage the iron, and at most you will scratch the protection, and it has never happened to me that synthetic fabrics or prints would stick to it. In addition, you can almost always keep the heat of the iron to the maximum, which will often save you time and effort, as it almost always. Remember to always do a test before, on a corner or a leftover, to see if something happens. And you will protect fabrics and prints from iron. Exactly. In fact, these plates are especially designed to be non-stick and to not leave burns or sticks. On the printed fabrics or on paintings or drawings that I made by hand, I usually, for safety, also put a cotton cloth that I use only for ironing. Since I will show you how to iron foam and vinyl, I'll show you a preview of how to sew them. In future, I will make tutorials on these topics. With the iron, with the protection, and very carefully, I ironed on the straight side many types of eco leather, vinyl, foam, EVA foam, printed fabrics, and so on. Here we are with the curiosity. So, my chief, after watching my video about the iron characteristics for sewing projects, told me that the iron can't be put vertically or horizontally, especially that with the water inside because it can came out, because cable can damage. So if you can, put it on the station and if you don't have a station, I recommend you a silicone pad. That's all for today. Tell me in the comments if you knew about the iron cover or if you are going to use it in the future. And if you have any questions, just write in the comments below. And remember to subscribe and ring the bell of notifications to not miss anything. I'm waiting for you in the next video. Ciao!